Now at five, trying to make sure history does not repeat itself. Remember this scene from last year? Late bus pickups in Omaha left hundreds of public school kids waiting and stranded. Angry parents demanded answers. Administrators promised improvements this year. Today was the first big test of the new school year. All eyes were on the buses to see if they would get the routes correct. 3 News Now senior reporter Jake Wazikowski has been covering the busing issue more extensively than anyone in Omaha. He's live with today's results. Jake. Well, guys, last August it was hard for parents to hold back their frustration when buses weren't showing up at all. The OPS made a number of changes and they say that this year there haven't been too many problems. You know, to just leave parents high and dry the first day of school, I, I find unacceptable. The OPS busing crisis of 2016. Thousands of students either got a ride sometimes hours late or didn't have a ride to and from school at all. What's that sending a message to her? That you're not important? It's extremely upsetting. I want the best for my kids and I do the best I can. More than 50% of all Omaha schools impacted. The district vowed to make changes and get it right. They sent routes two months in advance to the bus company, changed zones, put more students on each bus to decrease the number of buses needed, Have a great day. and allowed elementary students one mile from school to get transportation. So far, the district says everything has gone smoothly. A fabulous symptom of, without a hitch, the buses came in, kids got off. We hadn't had any of that in previous years. I don't know if people remember that after last year, but that's true. So no apprehension really about that. That was kind of an anomaly. OPS says they have been monitoring the buses in real time with GPS tracking, and there are more drivers hired than transportation routes. They say all buses arrived on time this morning. I stopped having her ride the bus in the morning because I couldn't be sure when she was going to be picked up. Kama Charlay says her daughter, who's now in fourth grade at Wilson Elementary, had problems last year, even being left on a bus when they missed her stop. Charlay says this year has started differently. She's been impressed with the communication and the transportation has been prompt. Great. No problems so far. She's been dropped off on time. Uh, the bus driver's actually been communicating really well with me as well. And I talked to OPS late this afternoon. They say that by 1.30 this afternoon, one of their call centers at North End Teleservices, that's one of three places that are answering calls, actually took 500 by, again, 1.30 this afternoon. The most common topics were, where is my bus? How long should my students stand on the corner waiting for their bus? Plus, I didn't receive any eligibility letter from my school. But again, OPS says that all buses were within the required time to show up to school this morning. Reporting live near 120th Pacific, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. A lunchtime.